Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yenja, and today I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also today, I want to show you how I memorize 50 words in 60 seconds or less. We are going to see if I can actually do that because I haven't been memory training because Corona, there are no competitions. Also, I don't know if I want to compete again. Oh, that was too honest. <laughs> if it goes terribly, that's because I haven't trained in a very long time. And if it goes great, then that's because, um, because I've been training so long that I don't need to train again. I don't know. We'll see. And if you join memoryleague.com, which is the site that I'm using, you write Yendra in the referrals, and then I get a small commission as a thank you. So here we go. 50 words in 60 seconds or less. Usually I wear earmuffs and earplugs, but I don't want to, so. What we've got so far is that it's avalanche and keen and um, fund, supervise. And the last ones I usually grab. And then it's, uh, this might be wrong. Discs, no, design. I feel like it's design, socket, site, institute. Uh, 14, glad, insect chamber, um, insect chamber, and then it's resignation, invasion, known excuse, uh, known excuse, known excuse, <laughs> known excuse, translation, Heresy, chill, torpedo, shed, counter, something that reminds me of a beautiful man who is imperfect and father, reluctant, um, uh, almost, dictate, uh, trend in illustration, uh, draft, incompetent. Here I got a little confused. So I think it's utility something, and then it's butcher, biochemistry, and something, uh, quote, and then, and then it's, Someone, prevent, ankle, die, gum, walk. Um, utility spell because it's Harry Potter. Okay, so what's happening is we have uh, design. Oh no, oh my, I only have seven seconds. Okay, uh, corporation. I can't spell. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, so first I imagined somebody designing a socket in the bathroom plug. And then on the bathroom or on the toilet, I imagined a site that was the site of an institution, an institute. And then in the shower, I saw a 14 year old who was glad to finally be taking a shower. And then Next to the shower, where the towels are, I imagined 
an insect who was like, welcome to the Chamber of Secrets for insects. And then uh, next to those insects on the wall, I saw uh, somebody who wanted to resign from their post because of an invasion happening to their nation. So resignation invasion. And then we had uh, the known excuse is that it's because of the invasion. And sometimes I don't even see the known excuse, like how do you visualize that? But I know that I thought of the words known excuse by my hallway. And then um, right next to the hallway where the wardrobe is, I was thinking that somebody had made a translation error that was heresy. And for somebody whose mom is an interpreter and translator, we see a lot of translation heresies. And then I saw this guy who was really chill and he was like, you can call me Torpedo. And I was like, okay, uh, when I opened my do door. And then in the hallway roof, I saw a shed and a counter for how many sheds could be on the ceiling, sorry, the ceiling of the hallway. And clearest was apparently a guy in my mind, but I said guy and so I couldn't remember the word clearest. But he was imperfect and he was speaking in the imperfect tense, even though he was beautiful and he had the clearest skin. Maybe that's what I was going for. Oh my dad, he's reluctant, comes easily to my mind almost dictate. Then I kind of swooped in and said, he was pointing at my neighbor's door and he was like almost dictating that we should knock on this door. And we open the door and we see a new trend in illustration. And that is to draft incompetent things. And then we, in my other neighbor's apartment, we have, they have a utility bill for all the spells they're casting. And then, Butcher and biochemistry, I blanked out, so I just said butcher and biochemistry are B and B words. <laughs> Good B words. And then I was really bad at imagery here. Apparently I lost my focus around uh, number 31 to 33, because I remember I was like, cooperate, corporation, something, and it was quote, so I was given a quote for like how much uh, money this corporation or this cooperation or if I were to cooperate with working with this environment or organization I would get this quote on my build hours and then I saw somebody sitting on the staircase and going someone prevent and then on the staircase it was his ankle and it was dying and then uh, halfway down the stairs it was just chewing gum that was walking and then getting down the stairs I saw an avalanche of the band Keen and I just have to remember that the band Keen is not the same as Keen and that's it and up on the ceiling of this lower level hallway I was like oh we need to fund and supervise this apartment building and then the last six words I just say and repeat to myself and hope that it sticks in my short-term memory, which is not great. I should probably just imagine them. Um, but yeah, so I just said to myself, weak, circular, bound, purchase, ever, illusion. And then the second I get to do my recall, I say weak, circular, bound, purchase, ever, illusion. And then I just write that down. And that's it. That is how I memorize words. It wasn't 50 and 60 seconds, but it was almost. So yeah, I uh, hope you like this video. Hope you like and subscribe and tell me what kind of videos you wanna see next. I know what I'm gonna be posting next, but it might not be memory related. Everything is memory related if I'm gonna be honest, but it's something that brought me so much joy. I haven't recorded it yet, so I hope I don't get emotional, but it's the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. And I'm gonna hopefully post it on Friday. So see you Friday, or if you just wanna see a memory video, see you next Monday. Bye.